Happy Saturday, sports fans. I'm Chad Roderick, and let's get let's get the bad news out of the way. As CMU football were outmatched by number two in the nation, Colorado Mines. Now, Mines struck first as running back Noah Roper gives the Ore Diggers the lead to start us off in this one. And it would only get worse from here, folks. Gavin Herbert gets a chance to here on fourth down for the Mavs. He looks for Keenan Brown downfield, but it's broken up by Mines. And from there, it was all Ore Diggers as Noah Roper adds another touchdown for Mines, just barreling into the end zone on this one. And here's Roper's third touchdown. He had the first two touchdowns in this game, and let's jump right forward and look at the final score. It wasn't a pretty sight watching CMU get shut out 52 to zero in this one. Now the Ore Diggers are one of the, one of, if not the best team in the country this year. Think Georgia or Michigan of Division II. Mesa, on the other hand, is a younger team that needs some time to grow. The Mavericks are two and four following this loss, but two of those losses were to ranked teams. And one of those wins was over an FCS team in San Diego. Give this team some time and it'll turn out all right. Now we move over to some more positive news with the weekend uh, as CMU Volleyball put together a great weekend here. The Mavs started their road trip in Pueblo yesterday with a 3-1 to one win over the Thunder Wolves. CMU dropped their, just their ninth set in 16 games in this one, and most teams in the RMAC don't seem up to the Mavericks level aside from Metro State. Now let's jump to today where the Mavs traveled to Alamosa to take on Adams State. This one was much of the same as CMU. Get the dub three sets to one over the Grizzlies. That's two wins in two days for the Mavericks and not a bad weekend overall in my opinion. Now let's look at some high school football as Central lose a two possession game across the Rockies at Loveland. The Warriors will face Greeley Central on the road next week. Let's hope Central will bounce back. And we jump to the FBS where Colorado are on the road at Arizona State right now in a Pac-12 matchup, or should I say future Big 12 matchup. It's looking a little scary for the Buffs at the half, trailing 14 to seven. They need to feel that prime effect and turn this one around. We flip over to Colorado State, also on the road at Utah State, that just kicked off. Now I'm from Utah, but there's no bias for me here in favor of the Aggies. In fact, let's hope Jay Norvell and the Rams can get the dub in this one. It's 0-0 in the first quarter. Now be sure to tune into KREX at 10 p.m. for final scores of the Colorado and Colorado State games and more sports updates. And shout out to my alma mater, Wayne High, on the state baseball championship, Sco Badgers. And that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Chad Roderick. More news after the break.